Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be restoring this old claw hammer head I found actually at a barn sale that I passed by. I uh, just was looting around and found this old rusty hammer head and I thought it would be a fun little project to restore it. Uh, as you can see it's got a bit of work to do on it. Uh, obviously the face is mushroomed out terribly so I'm probably going to actually start with grinding those down back into conformity. And as you can see part of the claw or one of the claws is broken off so that'll be a fun little obstacle to get around I have a few ideas on how to fix that that's basically all we're looking at today so let's hop into it All right, so now that we've gotten these claws uh, evened out, I'm gonna try to draw it out a bit, draw it back to about what the former length was, so then uh, getting a nail out with this thing will still be easy and quick. I also kinda wanna just experiment around, uh, maybe reforge some of the bevels, maybe make this thing look a little bit more spicy than your average hammer. All right, so I'm done forging out the profile, added a hexagonal shape to the front of it just to add some flair. I'm gonna go ahead and profile it on the grinder a bit. It's getting dark, so I'm not gonna show that. But then I'll quench it and throw it in the tempering oven for the night. And bam. So here we are. I uh, mostly just flattened out the face and I added a lot of bevels, just kind of wherever there was a flat edge, just to once again spice it up. I don't know, I'm just kind of experimenting with the design of this little thing. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, gonna go ahead, let's get this thing hardened. Might try to input my touch mark a little bit deeper, because I tried and it did not work that well. But, yeah, you guys will see it getting quenched. Well, there we go, it's hardened. We can tell by the file check, skating. Taking off some of that scale, but otherwise it is skating. Uh, and just in the nick of time, because wouldn't you know, as soon as you try to quench something, your propane tank decides it's done for the night. So, yeah, I got this done right before uh, I ran out of propane. And I'm going to give this thing a two hour tempering cycle. And with that, I gotta go do some English homework. See you guys in a few hours. And just like that, the tempering cycle is done. So I'm just gonna grind on the faces of this. Uh, give it a wire brush finish because there's still little bits of rust, but that wire brush finish will make it look nice and pretty. And then we'll get to some handle making. Bam, just like that, hammerhead is finished up, all polished, ready to go. So now I'm going to use this piece of walnut uh, in order to make a nice little handle for this. Should have a good grain and look pretty nice.
All right, there we go. Handle's all hand sanded. I've got this metal wedge and a uh, wenge wedge that I made out of a scrap piece of wenge that I just had laying around. So the next thing we need to do is split the top of the handle. All right, and there we go. So let's get this thing fitted up. All right, unfortunately, the handle split while we were putting in the metal wedge. So using my magical powers, I'm going to make a new handle appear. Bam. And just like that, new handle. It is pine, I believe. Uh, don't know what the wedge is, honestly. And another metal wedge in. And this is ready to be completely finished in a sec. I'm just gonna give it a burnt finish because I honestly like how it looks better than these paler woods. And then we will oil it up and we'll do some testing. There we go, all oiled up, finished up, ready for some testing. It's a claw hammer, so as far as testing goes, we have two things that we need to test. Do it hit, and do it pull out. It appeared to do hit, even though my uh, aim could definitely use some improvement. But does it pull? Indeed it does. And that is going to be all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for coming along. It was a lot of fun to see this thing from start to finish, rust bucket to usable again. And uh, with that, like, subscribe, share with your friends if you think they'd like this video. Helps us out a ton as a small channel. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one.